Hey y'all, it's time for another Cyber in Tech in 5 minutes. Would you not love to get rid of passwords? Today we're going to discover how to set up passwordless authentication and what the use cases are, especially Microsoft passwordless authentication. It's something that recently got out of preview and is now public for everyone. All tenants are allowed to use passwordless authentication. And you're able to use that in a lot of different ways. So let's jump into it and we'll discover exactly how it works. So when we get started, first you'll have to go to the Azure portal. And that when you arrive in the Azure portal, you click on your Azure Active Directory, then on Security, and then on the button Authentication Methods. Because passwordless authentication is something that's not enabled on your tenant by default. I've also recently made a script about it on cyberdrain.com on how to deploy this for all your tenants at the same time. It doesn't make anything big, any big changes and it doesn't break anything, but it does enable it so users are ca capable of using it using the multi-factor authentication app. So there's a couple of options you have with passwordless authentication. You have the FIDO2 security key, something like a YubiKey, for example, that you plug into a laptop and use to authenticate to Office 365 services. It's actually pretty much a classical smart card, but more portable and easier to use. Then you have the Microsoft Authenticator method of passwordless authentication. And that is actually the brilliant method that we're going to explain today because it's easy for everyone that has already deployed multi-factor authentication to immediately start using passwordless. There's also some other options such as text message and temporary access pass. These are two preview features that allow you to send a one-time access code to someone to log into their account using a password once. Because we do call it passwordless, but secretly it's not. Passwords are still enabled for all users. Um, even if you enable passwordless with Microsoft Authenticator, a user could still type their own password to log in and even at times will be asked to do that. It's a convenience thing. Users don't have to enter passwords all the time, thus can use more complex passwords. So let's click on the Microsoft Authenticator option and start enabling that. One of the first things you do when you click on it is that you have to enable it for your tenant and you have to select a specific target. You can say everyone's allowed to use passwordless authentication, but you can also say like, hey, you know what? No, I don't want everyone to be able to use passwordless authentication because some of my uh, staff is required to use a smart card instead of FIDO2 key and I don't want them to configure passwordless. So that way you can target specific users that don't need to have passwordless enabled. You can also uh, change the registration state. By default, it's an optional. When you save these options, you're not exactly done yet because as soon as you enable this, users are only able to set up password, passwordless authentication from their phone. So they'll need to have their mobile ready to set up passwordless authentication. We don't want that for all users because some of them might not have configured multi-factor authentication yet or some of them might just uh, not have the app installed yet, and then they wouldn't be able to log in. So we'll hit on save, and we're going to make sure that our users will be able to use the combined security info registration experience. You see the banner up here? You can click on this, and you can say, hey, which users are allowed to uh, use the preview features or the combined information registration experience? The combined security information registration experience is a different uh, page thing you're used to for setting up multi-factor authentication, but has a lot more options. For example, you can uh, add extra devices, remove old devices, all these kind of things without having to disable MFA completely. So if you hit save, users from then on will be able to browse to the My Sign-Ins page. I won't be able to show that right now because it takes some time for it to propagate across the entire tenant. But after we've enabled Microsoft Authenticator for uh, passwordless authentication, users are now able to use the app and click on I want to use passwordless authentication. I'll have some screenshots in, in the description below and you should be able to use that to set up passwordless authentication. The great thing about this is that users, instead of having a single push message with just approve or not approve, they actually have to select the correct number that's on the screen at that moment. So let's demonstrate that, shall we? We'll go, we'll log out right now and I'll sign in under my uh, other account that has passwordless authentication enabled. We're signing out of the browser and just waiting for a couple of seconds and then I'll type, hey, I want to use another account. 
my Lime Networks business account has passwordless enabled. And as you can see, now I get a pop-up with approve the sign-in and the number I have to click on. I have to uh, open the Authenticator app and it'll pop up asking me, please click on a number. In this case, I'll click on the correct number and it should automatically log me in. So the great benefit about that is that you're able to automate uh, or get more structure in your passwordless authentication and more safety because it's no longer just a yes or no answer. When you get spammed with authentication messages, we've all seen that users start clicking yes constantly. Passwordless authentication prevents that because you have to click on exactly the right number. Let's recap that, shall we? Passwordless authentication is not completely passwordless. There's still a password that exists in the background, but it eases the burden of logging in for clients. It also increases their safety simply because they're allowed to click on a number that has to match instead of just yes or no, which in my opinion is a much better way to, to have authentication. You can also use passwordless authentication with FIDO2 keys such as the YubiKey, which also are able to protect Windows logon instead of just uh, services logon, such as M365 or Azure. As well as authentication is a very cool feature and is able to decrease the load on your help desk a lot if you deploy it for all your users. It means that users won't need to remember that password anymore, will ask for less password resets, and at the moment that they do forget it, they'll also be able to use passwordless authentication to reset their own password if they'd like. So passwordless authentication is a very cool method of deploying more safety for your entire tenant. I hope you'll all use it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you soon.